Hey everyone, I've got my Claude up here again and yes I am a bit out of breath because I've just lugged him up the stairs because uh, I'm just going to redo all the brakes on it I'm going to move you back out of the way a little bit as well Is that a bit better? I don't believe we are there, right um, yeah, the brakes needed adjusting but while adjusting the front one it locked on because uh, well the cable um, has started to fray on this end I wonder if there's a better place that I can actually stand you hang on just a minute oh crap Get you in there. That might be a bit better because I can actually bring it in a little and then I can zoom in. How better isn't it? See, I think it's this end that actually got stuck and jammed the front brake. But uh, you know, three years on the bike that hasn't done bad. Plus, I know I haven't got it up here, but I noticed the outer, the black stuff, what they call the outer cabling, is. Uh, had started to wear at the brake lever end as well so and then I looked at the rear one and that is starting to show signs of wear on there and being a bit sticky so I thought sod it I just went down to Wilco's bought a brand new cable because there's nothing wrong with this cable so I'm going to save some money and use this one on the front because it's plenty long enough I'm probably going to have to cut about a foot of it off anyway so all I need is a pair of wire cuts, which should be laying in the top here. No, I found a blunt pair, I don't want that. Well, I call them a blunt pair, they're not actually blunt, they're just uh, not sharp enough for that sort of cable. Plenty good enough for electric cable, but. If I said they're not in there. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna pause you for a minute while I go on a hunt for the wire cutters. I found some. Not the ones I wanted, but they'll do. Because I just need to trim the um, cable cover off the little bit we put on cables to us. Prevent the ends from fraying. Right, I need my tray of hex keys. Five. Let's make sure I was actually, you know, somewhat in shot. Let's undo this. And pull the cable off. Oh, bloody hell. Right. What about this bit? Is that alright? No, you know what? We'll change that bit as well. So that's at least two bits of it on here that are going to be changed. What about the last bit? You know what? I think this last bit is actually fine. And I'll show you the end of this outer so you can see what I mean. See? So. I do believe I actually bought this brand new as well. I bought a couple of meters of it for this, if I remember correctly. But, you know, like I said, three years on here. It's had a fair amount of use. Good. Come on. Shouldn't take me many minutes to do this. There we go. Nemo's was not even bothered by getting hit by a brake cable. Right. 
So that's the one I want to go back on the front because it's still a good cable. But I didn't want to buy a brand new cable, you know, just to cut it basically in half for this front one. So I thought I might as well replace the rear one as the outers needed doing anyway. So I might as well do the whole lot. And then, like I said, the rear one's still usable. I can use that for the front cable. So this one's a defunct cable, more or less. Well, actually, believe it or not, it's still got use in it because it's not stretched. But anyway, we don't want that. Now, you used to be, um, be able to buy front and rear brake cables, but they stopped doing that some time ago. So now you just buy a universal brake cable. It's one length. I think it's about two meters in length if I remember correctly. Something like that. Yeah, about two meters. Meter and a half, something like that. You got a nipple on either end. That's for racing bikes. That's for pretty much all others. I don't need it for the racing bike because I'm not fitting it to a racing bike so we just remove the end we don't want. Uh, take the cable out. We don't want this bit either because that's for racing bikes and other types of bikes. I've actually got quite a few of those now. I'm going to go ahead and just slot this in here. Hopefully you can actually see what I'm doing. Grab a cable adjuster. They're both the same, so it doesn't matter which one I put on which. That's got to screw in the back here, and I'm going to screw it all the way in. This is how I do my brakes. I screw them all the way in. Get the cable attached. And then I use this, basically, to cross-thread the flipping thing. Ah. Oh, how did that get locked in there like that? There's so little finger room, these are actually rather fiddly to get in the back here without cross-threading them. There we go, I've done it. I do like these cable adjusters in that when you unscrew them, I find the, some of the ones, especially the ones which are plastic levers, I don't know why they'd make him out of plastic. Stupid idea, but I find uh, <coughs> these don't pull in as easy. Right, so now I need to cut a length, the same length as this old, old bit. So I'm just going to line them up like that. Get my cutters. And, uh, Okay, so these cars are starting to get blunt. Ah, I've got to take this bag off, I've just realised, because uh, <laughs> where I've got to get to is right underneath here. So, there's my other straps under here. Yep, yeah, I'm take that off. Oh, sorry, Nemo. I keep forgetting he's on the bed. Poor bugger. Right. If I had them, I'd put a ferrule on the end here, but I don't have any ferrules, so I can't. I don't think my local cycle shop actually sells them. Not the one I go to, anyway. Alright, that one there. That's the first part done. Do you know what? I'm replacing two of them. I might as well do all... Oh, crap. I can't do all three. I've got to replace the front, haven't I? So I may actually have to go and get a different bit out of my box. Where's the bit? Oh, you took it off and left it downstairs, didn't you? Right, so I'm going to do, do the front cable first. Uh, uh, I'm just trying to figure the best route to take it. Something like 
that well I've got enough here to do the very end piece at the rear so that's not too bad you get the, at least the uh, monkey end piece cut off of this the cutters are getting blunt because they should be firing bits off everywhere but these ones aren't I don't know where my ultra sharp pair has disappeared to I think my other pair like those ones are in the toolbox downstairs. I was going to do this downstairs but then I thought well I'm coming upstairs anyway so I might as well get it done while I'm up here. And I've just noticed there's a bit of a kink in this end. Can I just bend that kink out of there? I can indeed. Okay. Same process this time, that just hooks into the lever. Get those bits lined up. I don't knock them out of alignment. I've just got to get the slots lined up so I can put it on the cable. Is this one going to be a pain like the other one was? No, it's not. I'm going to do the same again, screw it all the way in, then I can adjust it later if I need to. Right. Okay. Let's go in there like that. There we go. Front brake nearly sorted to be honest. I just got to connect the cable up and put a cable end on it. That didn't have a cable end on it for some reason. I don't know if it fell off or what. But uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to shut you off because this is getting a bit tedious now. Uh, it's just pretty much the same principle. Cut the next. Go find another piece in my box of spare outers. I can reuse this bit though. To make the very last piece to go on the rear brake. I'll probably forget that's there now. Anyway, let me just go and get another. Okie dokie, I'm back. I've already got the front cable connected. I think I'm, I'm going to still adjust that. Right, I'm nearly there with the rear one as well. Got to the groove. We don't get a lot spare. Right. Either I'm hearing things or my Facebook just squeaked at me. Right. That's got to go in there. That's got to go through the cable clamp. And then basically, once I've clamped this on, apart from adjusting the brakes to my liking. Bend that round like that the way it was before because it's nice and tidy. What I've got to do is put, trim this down and put a little uh, end on it to stop it from fraying. Uh, one day, as this actually has the means to do it, I want to put hydraulic brakes on this because I've actually got the mounts for the hydraulic pipe to go to the rear of the bike. So, one day, I may do that upgrade. Oh. What's the rear like? Uh, to be honest, just adjust that adjuster and we're good. Front one, not quite. Uh, my cable ends are also in my Allen key box. Just wanna Actually thinking. Are oh, those pads centralised or have I got to adjust that front brake? 
No, that's better. No, no adjustment required. Right. So, unscrew this adjuster. Because uh, some people like a lot of play in their brake levers, I don't. I like mine where there's very little play. Just like that, to make sure the brake isn't wrong. Okay, I didn't do that front brake cap properly. Oh. That's fine. Oopsie daisy. Where did I throw the hexagon key? On the bed. The cable has just pulled through. <laughs> I'm gonna to have to screw that in again, aren't I? <sighs> Think front brake pads are getting a little on the low side as well. where I want them. I'm nearly done guys. All I need to do is go in my little box of atom keys because if I can get hold of them because they're so sort of bloody small. <laughs> Come on. I've cut my nails as well so I can't even <sighs> can't even get hold of them with the cuts. There we go. These are the things that we put on the ends of the cables just to stop them from fraying. Because there's nothing worse or nothing more annoying than a frayed cable. So I'm just going to trim it off about right there, leave about an inch or so on the end. Some people leave less, but I like to leave a, a good amount there just in case you need to adjust them or something or you've got to take it off later. You know, it's always good to have that little bit of leeway. But some people cut them really short to the cable clamp, which is fine. There's nothing, you know, nothing wrong with it. I just prefer to leave like a good inch, inch and a half of cable there. I've seen them um, YouTubers cut it even shorter than that. They leave like about a centimetre or something. But, uh, it's just one of those things, you know, it's your own preference. Right, my brakes are done now. I'll put my bag back on. <laughs> and that cost me the grand sum of one ninety nine. Play in there as well. I might just uh, grab a six mil and just tighten that up. And with this style of stem, all I've got to do is loosen off these two six. Cool. You can tell I did them up because they're done up bloody tight. <laughs> uh, sometimes these ones on the stems are a five, so. 
And then what I'm going to do, crank that round about a quarter turn. in the forks. So I can back that off a bit. If you're wondering how I can tell because I'm holding this bit so I can feel if there's any movement. Which there isn't. There was but there isn't now. At the same time I don't want to go too tight because then you won't be able to steer the bike. Unless you like the Incredible Hulk. Right. So at least I know what wobble is currently there is just down to the forks. I think these forks are a bit warm to be honest. If I can find something better I'll put some different ones in. I want to get some different handlebar grips as well. There we go. I'm getting hungry. I want me dinner but <laughs> I want to get this done first. Who's that? Bingo, I'm happy with that. I think three rear lights is a bit overkill. Mind you, it's not bad if the weather gets crap. <coughs> the more the merrier, as they say. Ooh, I've worked up a sweat now. Ooh, I haven't done that for a while. It must be warmer today. Anyway, hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching, and I will... Uh, Talk to you all again soon. Bye.